Episode 25, Exercise, Maximizing Personal Productivity, Lesson 2. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilson. Boom, and boy, is your host there. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't get used to this introducing thingamajigger and finding a good catchphrase to get everybody totally psyched because I hope everybody is already totally psyched about listening to the very best podcast in the world. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, welcome to your paradise for personal supremacy oh god that was a fuck up personal supremacy through health wealth and happiness and i think um it's more what what is it today i don't know it's a wealth thing uh, because it, it increases your uh you know personal productivity just makes you so much more productive in a professional environment no idea let's see uh last week what did we discuss there anybody pay attention <laughs> i hope not uh, seriously though uh last week was about um you know doing shitty chores and educating yourself while doing them uh, wow you know we could have had the episode over in 30 seconds damn and i wasted so much of your time today however uh, we're going to be freeing up brain memory, of which you only have so much. Be believe me, yeah, uh, there's always a yeah. Everybody's got, you know, tons of gigabytes of free space in their head and you know, blah. Fact is, you don't. Uh, there's only so much you can, well, save. I don't know. Keep in mind. Um, keep ready. Keep at hand. And for everything else, there's fucking digital helpers. Get used to it. Or paper helpers or whatever. So even though, or even if you work in, I don't know, as a housewife or house guy, dude, homemaker, I think is the new term, uh, you've got tons of shit to do. And there are about a gazillion projects that run side by side. And if you don't keep track of them, you're going to be uh, losing out on them. Um, de facto, things just get fucking lost. If, however, uh, particularly if they're in the faraway future. So uh, if you uh, don't use helpers, you're inevitably going to lose track of stuff that's going to happen in the distant future. Then you're going to lose track of stuff that's going to happen in the immediate future. And then you're going to lose tasks which are due in the immediate future, which leads to stupid situations like your kids sitting in the bus stop waiting to be picked up because you forgot about them or had to topple your plans all over, but there's a different episode for that. Now, today's episode is about freeing up your brain. And uh, you're going to be, like I said, there are a lot of people who are in denial about having their head too full, but it just happens in today's times because the uh, resources that we have at our disposal are there for a reason and they're not to be ignored uh, because the stuff that is demanded of us in everyday life is just become so fucking much that it's just inhuman or unhuman uh, to demand of people that they kind of keep everything in their head now every modern person pretty much every modern person except a few people uh, have these little digital helpers called smartphones, which most of you use for surfing Facebook, finding out what kind of a potato you are. Uh, I shit you not, there is a game on Facebook uh, which tells you what kind, what kind of potato you are. 
and you use it for sharing cat videos through WhatsApp or Telegram or Signal or Threema or whatever. You use it to have seemingly endless conversations until the battery dies with friends and family, and that's about it. And for that, you pay shitloads of money and you actually can do so much more with it. You can really increase uh, productivity in your life by using the agenda or calendar. You can keep track of fully blown projects in terms of remodeling. I don't know. Uh, you can schedule and structure your day, which you should do twice a day, as we learned uh, in the episode, planning your day twice a day. And you can do so much more and it, and it makes your life so much more easy. So much, e so much more easy. Is that even a word? I don't know. I think uh, so much easier, so much, f so fucking much easier. That's the adequate pronunciation and evaluation of a, what I was trying to say. So, um, no, you're not going to put in there that you brush your teeth at seven Oh five. When you got up at seven, I'm not talking about that, but uh, if you have shit that's in the near future, um, you write it down and you block that time in your fucking calendar. If you want to, if you want to get bonus points, you share your calendar with your spouse and your kids and you have different resources at your disposal, because if the kid has forgotten to enter that they're going to be, uh, have an extra class in school, then, well, okay, that doesn't count. But if they want to play with their friends, well, Fuck you, you didn't block the time in the calendar. Okay, there you go. You are arrested for, I don't know, taking out the garbage, walking the dog, or whatever chores your kids get to do. Um, same goes for your spouse. If they forget to enter stuff in the calendar, then they are de facto available. So if you know your spouse wants to go out to have a beer with their friend or to their crochet club, or <laughs> I don't know, whatever people do nowadays, uh, then they are available, therefore they are bookable as a resource, therefore... And anyhow, long story short, you're going to notice very quickly how this calendar is going to fill up, which is going to make everyone's life in a family significantly easier, as it is when within organizations where the same kind of drill happens. Uh, that being said, um, what's the point of this and how are we actually going to implement this? Uh, well, first of all, we have to get, sorry, I forgot, we have to get to the bit of tasks, which is very good. Obviously, we're not going to put in there that we need to brush our teeth. If you need that as a reminder, by all means, put it in there. But I'm talking more about stuff like, I don't know, for instance, when your warranty expires on your car, because you want to have it checked out because it's in warranty. And if any parts are, uh, damaged or whatever that are not immediately visible or damage that is not immediately visible or audible, then you want that to be taken care of within the warranty, obviously, right? So remind yourself three months before the warranty of your new car expires, we got to take the car to the garage, schedule an appointment to have everything checked because that is de facto going to save you fucking money. Now, that being said, that's just, you know, as an idea. And that's tasks. Now, tasks are, again, grouped into projects quite well. And with due dates and, oh my God, even location-based is there. So, you know, uh, say to your digital companion to remind you to pick up flowers when you drive by the flower shop or when you drive by the next supermarket to pick up milk, whatever the deal. All of that makes your life so much easier. And... I'm going to go into why I'm mentioning this and why I'm being so anal about project management and scheduling everything. Uh, for a longer part of my life, I spent a significant amount of time in airplanes, and this was pre-Wi-Fi on aircraft. Uh, I spent a lot of time in hotels, and I managed several projects simultaneously in different geographic locations across the globe which led to a ginormous clusterfuck had I not been 
had I not been so anal about managing projects, working on stuff, having reminders about what needs to be done when, and having deadlines in my calendar. And boy, was it a relief that I had the digital calendar because I didn't even need to do the fucking calculations of the, I don't know, close to half a dozen time zones that all of my correspondence partners were in. So scheduling a call from Singapore, from you know being in Singapore, scheduling a call with someone in Nice and France, minus, I don't know how many hours, the calendar did the work, the computer did the shit, and it worked quite well. So uh, the pre-Wi-Fi bit was a bit of a pain in the ass because I had to use the Wi-Fi availability in the airport lounges or the hotels or uh, wherever to actually synchronize emails, synchronize files, and that bit. Now, how are we going to actually make an exercise out of this? I have no fucking clue, to be perfectly blunt, but let's try and make something up. Uh, so your next week, uh, if, you have an, if you have your next week planned at the remotest, uh, use your digital helper. Uh, be it an Android phone or an iPhone or those of you still using BlackBerry for some reasons other than privacy. <laughs> Sorry, the irony. Uh, or anything else that you're actually using. Uh, try over the weekend to get your, how do we call them? Legal dependents? <laughs> no idea. Uh, try to get them on board. Uh, try out how to work with things like Google Calendar or iCal on Apple uh, in collaboration environments. Uh, both of those systems have a great uh, reminders or tasks app. Uh, Microsoft does as well, by the way, which uh, all of which you can synchronize among each other and you can uh, assign tasks to people, invite uh, your spouse or your kids or, whom, or your grandma to certain appointments. Uh, and get that tech-savvy person in your household to give you technical guidance while implementing it and make a family exercise out of it. Uh, we, my better half and I, we've been doing this for quite some time. And the amount of clusterfucks that we're experiencing has, since we started using digital helpers, significantly reduced. We did a similar thing. We sat down for a day, I think it was even over a day, uh, to actually make rules for what goes in the calendar and what doesn't. Uh, stuff that, you know, the tasks, what gets assigned and uh, how, who are, who follows up on what. And, you know, if I don't feel uh, capable of following up with something, I delegate the task back to her uh, because she's got more knowledge about it and that whole bit. So your lesson for the weekend, if you want, uh, it's all voluntarily here in the very best podcast in the world, uh, sit down your family, your friends, whomever you, I don't know, uh, whomever you think needs to be involved, uh, sit them down and work out what goes in the calendar, uh, what, who gets access to what calendar and what goes in there and the same goes for tasks if you have current projects for instance remodeling you know get everybody involved and have everybody put their uh, tasks in there and you can assign them and uh, have them uh, if they are interdependent with uh, due dates and so on and so forth and then you shall see how much easier your life gets Bonus points if you have one of these digital digital <laughs> assistants. By God, it's late. Uh, having one of these in your uh, apartment, house, whatever. Um, try and integrate them because it's very easy to say, mm -hmm, schedule an appointment for uh, in six months with, uh, I don't know, janitor or whomever to discuss X, Y, and Z. You can add notes and you can add documents and you can invite people even, don't worry, they're not seldomly going to respond because they're not so disciplined like you are now. And all of this shit is going to make your life easier. One last point is 
taking notes. That's another very important thing. This is more of a personal matter, but you can also use it as a database to make certain resources available to um, the people you live with. Uh, for instance, with links or um, you know shopping lists or uh, information that everybody needs and uh, needs to be in a collaborative and collaborative environment, uh, then you've got uh, your notes on your Apple in your Apple environment, or you have uh, a similar thing in Google. I don't know what it's called. Uh, if you're in the Microsoft universe, you have whatever. If you are, if you really want to go ape shit with notes, have a look at Evernote. Uh, it's a bit limiting in context of collaboration I have found uh, but it's still worth looking at because it's got awesome OCR and all of that other good bits so you know whenever you scan a document with your phone upload it to Evernote you can just type in a keyword into Evernote and it will have recognized all the text and will find it for you and present it to you and you have access to it again and that cool bit so we have calendar, we have tasks, including one in the hierarchical, hierarchical sense, one level up. We have the project management bit where you have folders for projects. Within those, you have tasks. And these tasks can be moved around to and delegated to different people, like calendar appointments. And in the notes section, you have resources which uh, have a bit more text, but which is then available to everybody and can be edited by everybody in a collaborative sense. And with that being said, uh, the exercise, if you have already forgotten and ignored uh, or procrastinated away, was to sit everybody down around the table, uh, really take a few hours time, um, create your own set of rules that can work for you, and then get everybody nailed down. Keep in mind, the first months are going to be insanely frustrating because you're going to have to adjust and you have to going to change things simply because there are people who will not find this way of working easy and it takes a while until you've got this uh, ecosystem set up. But if you have, uh, I can tell you from experience, life gets so much better, it gets so much easier, everybody knows what they have to do when. Uh, you can even have chat groups where, you, you know, that's going to be a, a no-brainer because you're using WhatsApp. So in that sense, have a very nice weekend. Uh, I'll see you on Monday. And as always, have no fucking clue what I'm going to present to you then. But I will in any case follow up on the success that you've had there. If you have questions, feedback, comments, uh, questions, particularly be honest to yourself. If you need help, let me know. I'll try and, you know, guide you in the right direction. Uh, everything goes to the very best podcast in the world at gmail.com. In that sense, sleep well, keep your hands above the blanket. If you're, uh, west of me, then, uh, you know, have a good day. Well, where's West? And there is, if you're west of me, you know, have a great successful day. If you're east of me, then have a good night. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend and peace out.